CEO Cameron McKellar explains further on Brian Bell Group's operations nationwide and its focus going forward. We have, you know, 23, 24 operations around the country uh, that are either, you know, retailing, wholesaling or warehouse operations and we lost one of those on, uh, you know, last Wednesday. And so for our business, yes, it's an impact, but again, we've got 22 other businesses that continue to operate uh, free of any issue or encumbrance, incumbents that, you know, that, um, you know, for us it's all about getting back to business and operating as normally as we possibly can at the moment. He further elaborates on the damages. It was our largest warehouse. It was only, you know, four years old uh, and it was 16,000 square metres of warehouse facility, but also, you know, the largest storage facility that we have in the country. Uh, the cost of or the immediate damage is about 120 million kina. Now that includes all of the inventory that was in the, you know, the, where, the two warehouses at the time. You're talking about trucks, you're talking about forklifts, you're talking about other assets, all of the racking that was in those two facilities. So the immediate loss for us is 120 million. The consequential losses are far greater. CEO McKellar also explains on the company's insurance coverage for the recent damage and destruction. From our perspective, you know, we will be pursuing our insurance cover with our insurance uh, company and uh, like every company that was adversely affected. McKellar states that the issue is the uncertainty on whether the Wednesday events can be identified as civil unrest or not. The problem is, of course, you know, there is conversation in the market about, you know, whether it's civil unrest or otherwise, we will have those conversations with our insurance company. Um, but our properties are insured, however, it's up to the insurance company as to how they're going to treat this. We'll have a particular focus on you know, break and enter and arson. Francisca Anania, National MTV News.